ओके सो द फर्स्ट टॉपिक इज वॉट इज इंटरनेट ओके सो बेसिकली इंटरनेट इज लाइक अ नेटवर्क ऑफ नेटवर्क सो लाइक सपोज इफ यू आर स्टडी इन योर कॉलेज सो यू कॉलेज माइट हैव यू नो नेटवर्क ऑफ सिस्टम्स इन योर प्रैक्टिकल लैब्स सो दोज नेटवर्क आर इंटरकनेक्टेड विद इच अदर ओके सो लेट्स से वेरियस वेरियस नेटवर्क आर सेटअप इन साइड योर कॉलेज एंड दोज नेटवर्क आर कनेक्टेड ओके नाउ दोज नेटवर्क दट आर इंटरकनेक्टेड नेटवर्क आर कनेक्टेड टू अदर नेटवर्क फ्रॉम लेट्स से अदर कॉलेज ओके और लेट्स से अदर ऑफिस and this entire setup okay so that is called as a interconnectivity of your networks okay so internet is like a very wide area uh, network of such interconnected networks okay so in this internet every system that is connected needs to have a ip address which is like the logical address assigned to any system on the internet okay so let's say i want to communicate with the particular system i have to communicate using their ip address now any kind of system uh, let's say a laptop or a phone or a tablet it is capable of communicating on this internet using uh, your various communication channels like let's say uh, using your wifi using your uh, wired mediums okay so it also allows intercontinental connectivity with uh, let's say your optical cables which are laid down under your oceans or your satellite signals okay so internet basically allows your uh, connectivity throughout the uh, world now these connectivities uh, the communication that happens over these channels happens through protocols okay so the basic protocol in your internet is your transfer control protocol and ip protocol which is called as your tcp ip protocol so this uh, this basically tells you the various rules and regulations of how a system is supposed to communicate on the internet okay so now we'll be discussing the various topics like your dns ip address and your uh, urls so let's start with dns first so dns stands for your domain name system okay so now let's say you visit a website and that website is basically registered on a domain name uh, system okay so that dns can be a .org dns or a .com or a .in or a .co.in so it depends on the reach of that one and uh, where is the location of that particular company so it depends according to that so uh, people can buy the hosting from uh, on these dns platforms from other providers <coughs> now before this dns came into picture people used to communicate using their ip addresses so same way like suppose if you want to go to uh, amazon.in or instagram.in so you had to go to your web browser and enter the ip address into your search bar but because there are so many websites that are coming up it was not possible to remember the ip address of each and every websites so they create technology where they put all the ip addresses into a certain file and every time you connect to using a dial up connection uh, you had to download that file and you will be able to access all the ip addresses for the various websites now again the issue ar arose when there was a lot of websites were which were coming up and because of this the size of the file which was getting downloaded kept increasing and it reached a point where it was not you know possible to download that amount of data at the same time because uh, if you see uh, back in 1980s uh, the amount of data like such, let's say if you wanted to just store 100 mb of data so you'll need a uh, hard drive that is almost as big as this table okay so it was not humanly possible to store that much data on the internet and then f every time if someone wants to connect to it they had to download that much data okay so because of this the dns was introduced which allowed your various organizations to become registrars and they used to register various domain names under their uh, dns platform so let's say if you have a company called google you have to register it under the dns uh, like a dot com or a dot in and be it becomes google.com okay so now people do not have to access your uh, remember your ip address or access that file they can just go and type google and they will get all the data okay so this was also facilitated by other te uh, technological improvements like your world wide web your uh, urls and uh, your web to, uh, web 2 okay so this allowed the uh, reach of the internet to increase uh, by time and now we have reached the stage wherein we are moving into next uh, technology which is your uh, blockchain and your web 3 so uh, there again there will be a lot of advancements and the internet is going to completely change